And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more meme tier Monday fun. We got a Malphite Nautilus deck. That's right. We're putting together two big champions together. We got sea monsters and Nautilus hanging out at the bottom of the ocean. And then we got Malphite who just like this mountain. <laughs> so we got a mountain and the sea monsters in the ocean just hanging out together. Um, how do they synergize together? Well, they're, well, they're both big. And that's how. <laughs> if we have a leveled up Malphite, then we have this unstoppable force and stunning all enemies and combining that with some really big sea monsters and just like not letting them block sea monsters. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. <laughs> so that's kind of our combination there. Um, we're playing this Eye of the Rahoric to go along with Malphite where this can like stun weak enemies and maybe that allows our big sea monsters to attack in better where they don't get to just block with, with small weak enemies. But then our other landmark that we're playing to help level up Malphite is going to be uh, the Slaughter Docks. So there we go. That's that's a way that they can kind of combine together. Slaughter Docks is a landmark, and it makes them see monsters, and it tosses and everything. So to, le to level up Malphite, all you need is one Slaughter Docks, one Eye of the Rhetoric. Um, uh, let's see. So we're also going to be playing Lure of the Depths, make our sea monsters a little cheaper since we have just a bunch of them, and they're all expensive and stuff. Uh, let's see, Blue Sentinel is in Targon, which can um, help help ramp us to get to our expensive sea monsters. So that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and then, you know, like, that's what we got at the top end, are the sea monsters. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, give this a try. We're not, like, tossing the best. You know, there's just a lot of the toss cards are in Shadow Isles. But this is what we got, and this is what we're going to try out. So here we go, Malphite Nautilus. It's meme tier day. This isn't going to be the best deck ever, but, you know, we're having fun putting these two monster cards together. <laughs> They're huge. And our opponent's got a little one mana 1-1 one, one with Zoe. Okay. So we got our two drop. This hand honestly looks pretty decent. I guess we mulligan Malphite and maybe mulligan... Yeah, I guess we'll mulligan Salvage. We'll keep the lure of the depths to go along with the ramp card. Alright, Jaw Hunters can challenge a Zoe. Get him, Blue Sentinel. Alright, they get in the block in right now. So that I get the extra mana for this upcoming round. And not a future round where it would be more necessary. Yeah, Tarkas has a great that great line. You small, me big. That is a perfect line for this deck. They done? Their hand's not good enough because they're they know that like at the at the top end, the late game, we have all these sea monsters. We played Lure of the Depths, and they're just looking at their hand and they're like, I can't deal with sea monsters. G G's. They too slow. You small, me big. Yeah, that, that game that game wasn't even two minutes. Okay, well, we big, they small, but they kind of fast. Maybe a little bit too fast for us, even. Looks like a great hand to shuffle back in the deck and draw a new one. A great hand to keep shuffling and draw a new, new one. The desert by my side. Always forward. 
Okay. All right, so they got turn one decimate. That also leaves a two one behind. <laughs> All right, so for one mana, we're gonna cast decimate. That also puts a two one into play. Our last hand was a little bit better than this one. Okay, so we're already almost dead, but let's start this tossing. All we need is to toss 18 more cards. All in the shoulders. Playing rock hoppers now. I was really hoping for the one mana sea monster. Yeah, you know, like there's the, the two mana sea monster, but it would cost one because of lure of the depths. So I was certainly hoping for that. Sure, man. Why not? Thanks, Lynn Green. You too. Hope you have a great week. Watch me. Always forward. All right. Well, that's nine, and I'm at nine. Yeah. Good job, Pony. Your deck's great. Okay. Well, I, I had it marked wrong after the first game. I had it marked zero and one. <laughs> so we'll just fix that. Now it's just one and one. I mulliganed every, you know, I mulliganed every single card, you know, but we just couldn't find a one, two, three mana unit, and it was just not a close game. All right, so now we got our blue sentinel. A little bit better. Jaw hunters can take down Yasuo if we're lucky. I think I think we're just gonna be playing the slaughter docks here. I was trying to think of like what what they would play that I'd want to like like if I pass they play something then I jaw hunters, and I think I'd rather just play slaughter docks. So I went with the attack immediately. Now don't have, don't have a prediction the last three games. to devour next round. They probably don't have any stun at all in their Yasuo deck, right? So, like, this probably works. It's too late I don't really see how it couldn't. Mind. They did actually have a stun card in their Yasuo deck, surprisingly enough.
All right, 10 away from deep. Now we're nine away from deep, draw a card, eight away from deep. I got Dove's Jettison. Some things never dull. We'll make that deep. Now we got a seven, seven. Perfect numbers. Seven, seven block Yasuo. They have a lot of cards over there, seven cards. Whoa, our sea monster ate a Yasuo. Well. <laughs> Monastery of Hirana? Alright, well. I guess that's, that's a thing. Oh no, I like that shipwreck order. Tear of the Tides. That's such a good one to hit. Wow, got him. Got him. Malphite Nautilus too strong. Sea monsters. Boom. If it wasn't for the tier one, it really is your deck. <laughs> yeah, why you doubting? How you doubting this deck? Zillion Swain. It's a cool combination. I, th I still think Zillion's really good. I think Zillion's underrated. Mulligan. All those. Basically, cards that cost four or more, they get mulliganed. All right, we got our champs. Lucky sevens. Predictions are up. Are we gonna win or lose? Looks like people are betting on win. You can get some good good odds if you choose lose. Everybody's chosen win so far. Okay, Rose, you re revamped your Zillion Swain list. Oh, now everybody's betting on Moss. Because <laughs> I said that. Okay, they're, it's getting tied up. Wins and loss. This could be our two two mana cards trading. Don't stand in my way. But we took one point of damage. So not the worst. <laughs> Puppy's like, I'm gonna sit in this bed over here. I don't like that other one. I'm gonna sit right here. I don't think the predict cards are terrible. That's the thing is like I've actually been you know, quite impressed by the predict cards. But I guess okay. Oh, so you're saying with with uh, Swain, you haven't liked him with Swain? Okay, yeah. With the predict cards, like you have to build like completely around predict. So you're just saying like yeah, in, a, in just a Swain control deck. Don't play predict. And that makes sense. You just need a lot of card draw in that kind of deck. That makes sense. The Slaughter Dogs.
That sounds so violent. The slaughter docks? Like, there's just... Docks... That... Just people get slaughtered on all the time or something? Imagine taking, like, the tour of a town, and they're just like, Oh, over on the right, you can see the slaughter docks. I'd be like, whoa, no, no thanks. Fifteen away from deep. Observe the price of ambition. Quickly. Yeah, that's true. It's probably just, yeah the fisheries that are slaughtering. Oh, every day locals wander through the slaughter docks to see the horrors Bilgewater hunters have hauled up from the depths. The beasts are usually dead. Usually. Usually. I was right, it is just an area that has just like a bunch of tours just Set hanging out and seeing. That Jaw Hunters didn't have much of a chance. from deep I will take the extra mana thank you <laughs> all right well we are one mana away from having triple abyssal eye next round that would have been pretty cool I guess if I draw if I draw another lure of the depths. No, because that no, that'd still be just one man away. Alright, I'm gonna play the either a hork to level up the Malca Malphite. May end up not being a great decision. We'll see. We'll get some stones in for him. Trying to trying to go deep. We were tossing stuff. To ruin. Leave them nothing. We were tossing. All right, so this puts me down to seven. I don't know if I need to be that scared of being at seven. I think that's okay. 
I don't know. So I, I could hush this 2-3 and then make basically I could make it a 3-3. Three, three. So I'm basically turning hush into a deal one damage to their sand spinner card. That doesn't sound fantastic. Yeah, you're right. Probably better just to play a champion. They did just get rid of a Scorched Earth. Still five away from deep. Whoa, Yud, solid at twenty nine. <laughs> Loving the thumbnails on YouTube. Dude, the thumbnails on YouTube are so good. They are so good. <laughs> Thank you, Yud. Um, yeah, everything's going great. Yud, of course, is the person that makes the thumbnails. So thank you thank you so much there, Yud. <laughs> so if y'all like the, the YouTube thumbnails, that is courtesy of Yud. Um, yeah, this is a tough... Tough turn, tough turn. Lots of different things we can do. So if I do this, we have seven mana, two, four, five, six, seven. So I'm thinking like Abyssal Eye, Abyssal Eye, Devourer. All those together. We'll kind of see what they have. No deep, not yet. We're still four away. No, no jettison. You have to be, kind of be scared of Jettison, though, right? Wow, Ride Negation. Well. Guess they're going that route. Okay, three cards left. <laughs> Devourer does look cool with Malphite, doesn't it? Destination in sight. Go 
Could just, you know, could have been just passing. We'll see. Like they're they're they have a lot of mana. They were willing just to pass, and you know, if I just don't attack, you know, maybe that's better for me because then they don't get to spend any mana. Of course, the, drawing the multiple cards, very important towards getting this deep to finally happen. Okay, salvage will get us deep. Yeah, they have not leveled up Swain. They have not drawn Leviathan. But we're still at a really low life total. It's still very scary. Their time has come. It's still really scary. But they only have one one card in hand, unless it's you know decimate, and then they draw another one of those death hands to do one damage. It's all about the direct damage. We deep. And that's going to be game. There we go. Malphite Nautilus. Malphite and Sea Monsters. It, it looks pretty crazy. But we're getting, we're picking up some wins. GG's. Yeah, you got to have three Preservarium. If we didn't have three... Preservarium, we gotta have that in a like in that kind of Swain Zillion deck for sure. Preservarium, super important, and then yeah, Whisper Words also very nice. What tier would you say Beast Below is? Um, I would say it's a Beast Below tier one. <laughs> I guess Beast and Least isn't very good, but. Hey, Furion, GG's. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, Beast Below is a little little below tier one, I'd say, for the sea monsters. It's, it's a little bit of the bottom tier, but a four mana four four is pretty decent. It's gotten worse since Targon's joined in. Targon like just added in a bunch of like four mana four fours with upside. Nasus Kindred is going to be pretty great, I suppose. Alright, so cards that cost four plus you mulligan. But yeah, I like the Beast Below with the Lure. It just kind of fills your curve in, especially when you don't have Maokai. We just kind of need it as a curve filler. Wow, what a block. Let's go. Like, their card was Prismatic. Like, getting a Prismatic for just a little one-drop, that's big. Yeah, 
<laughs> well, what a throw. You never block with prismatics. Yeah, I can't believe our, our little Dredge Dredger's got a prismatic out of their deck. tossed all the sea monsters they all got tossed well hey please win it's not looking good right now not looking good all right so we take nine down to eleven Need to play a sea monster this round. Yay, sea monster. Alright, where are we at? Seven away from deep? They just have those one ones that just aren't really that valuable to stun. This looks terrible now, Kindred. Oh yeah, Kindred is awesome. It's hard, it's fast now. It knows. GG's opponent. Looks like they got me. GG's. Like, best case scenario, it's like I go to three. Okay, well, that's, that's game over. Be challenging. Those Shadow cards can be pretty aggressive. Blighted Caretakers. Still awesome. So it was, it was a good nerf making Blighted Caretaker a 1-1. Because it's still a, it's still an amazing card, as is. And so I think that was, like, a really good nerf. That, um, you know, it's not like the, the card's not playable or anymore, but it just didn't need to be a 2 1. I just feel the same way about like that Sharima one drop that's like the 2 1 that also makes the Sand Sol Soldier. That could maybe be a 1 1 or a 1 2 or something like that and make a Sand Soldier. But all. And not attack for 4 on turn 1. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, we got a 3 and 2 record with Malphite Nautilus. Real happy about that. Um,. Yeah, like that's that's definitely awesome. Like being able to play like these two huge champions, and yeah, we played against two aggro decks that ran us down really fast, right? Like the Aurelia Zir deck, and the, then the deck with like all those Blighted Caretakers, and you know, uh, you know, Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher, that kind of stuff. Yeah, like that that deck's gonna be too aggressive for us. I mean, look at what we're playing. <laughs> but any kind of deck that stumbled a little bit or was a little slower, we were uh, certainly more powerful than them in the top end. And uh, we had a, a couple of opponents give up kind of easily on us because of uh, how scary Malphite and Nautilus were. And uh, just scared them too much. So there we go. We got big sea monsters and mountains. That's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Um, you know, let me know what you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday. We got four more Meme Tier decks for tomorrow. Um, so that's going to be the, the schedule for that. And then the day after, um, on Wednesday night, we'll have the return of the champion spotlight night where we will, uh, roll a random champion. We've done it, a Nivea and Garen so far, and we'll get another random champion for Wednesday. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it here for Malphite Nautilus. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.